Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 17th of June and we're going to be looking at the DAX and the FTSE but more time on the DAX as the FTSE is doing pretty much the same thing and this particular count that I've got here is in line with the US markets. So I understand that it could be counted differently but um, we'll just stay with this today. So we're looking from the low here, we're looking at 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 here and then up for wave 5 here. And I understand that wave 3 in this case is a little bit short, but I'm going to stay with that because I don't know how else to count all of that. And what I normally find as well is that around large numbers, and I know that you don't think 11,500 is, is a large number, but for the trading levels, it's uh, really important. It's simply halfway between two major trading levels uh, here, and the levels are really the Fibonacci numbers as a price ratio. So one, two, three, five, eight, and then we go to after eight is 13. But um, we also go back to the power of 10 as well. So 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. <clears> the medium level just comes in halfway between these two here. You can see that it's coming to play here. So um, let's go in and have a look. So on the four hour chart uh, here, we noted that we were looking for five waves down here. Last time we spoke, we were here, so it was possible to be an ABC pattern, but we were looking for a wave four and wave five. So we have this nice uh, wave five here. Now, the move up through here as a wave B here is not really doing what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> um, so what I mean by that is that when we normally look at a B wave moving up, we normally look at it in a nice A wave, B wave and C wave here. There's a relationship between the structures and so on. But this is just an impulse wave to the upside, uh, five waves to the upside. So we need to um, look at that in a slightly different light. So I think that I might go to, we'll go to the hourly chart and drill in at that point for that. So. <clears throat> Here we've got our one, two, three, four, and five. Now we can count five waves in the third wave. That's cool. The fourth wave's done all the right things. The wave five here, um, you can get five waves out of it. It's a little bit dodgy and all the rest of it, but um, we'll just leave it as it is at the moment. Now, <clears throat> you may have been long here through this. So we're going to remove that now because we hit the 61.8%. So you should be out from that point. So we're just going to move that out of the way. And we don't need this one over here anymore. So this bothers me here. We're at the 61.8% mark. But the thing is, is we have five waves up here. You can see the skeleton of it here in terms of one and two here and three and four and five. We'll take a closer look in a moment for that. So I really got to put that there for the A wave. And then we see the B wave pull back and then the C wave to move a little bit higher here. So in this instance here, from the low here to this high here, just as a starting point here, if this is going to play out. Well, then we will need to look at the 50-60% retracement level here. So it could just get a little bit more complicated here. So I'm looking for, well, an A wave here, B wave here, and a C wave here. And then, then another five waves up into, probably into this area through up here somewhere. So we could look at some numbers for that. But um, because of this five waves here, it means that we're going to get an ABC correction and then another five waves up from that point. So let's take a closer look at that on the 15 minute chart here. So... <clears throat> I'll just clean this up. We were short here, but we got, we're stopped out at this point, so we don't need that. And we're also going to flip to the long side at that point. So um, I'm going to move that out the way here, and it should be out at the 61.8%. I don't know what I said, but probably would have said I know what I, I know who I am. So I um, I know what I if I if I'd said anything, I know what I would have said. Um, so here we've got wave one and two here. And just take my word for it, we've got five waves in this little section here. 
and then wave four here and a nice little impulse wave to finish five of one here of a here could be one Freudian in the slip um so a wave here and a b c for the b wave here and um really you just need to see this pull down here further as soon as it takes out this low here then you know that i'm probably right at that point <clears throat> it could however be up for one here back for two here and then push up for three four and five up here and continue to move higher so just be mindful um <clears throat> of that particular low there for that we need to see that breach to see that here but this is five waves here so after a corrective wave we should see another five wave down here so also to the length of this here will have some sort of relationship here so just grab that there and move that not that one move this stick that should come in around that length there so <clears throat> not a big deal maybe the 12 1 here we could see that bounce off so but the 50 60 percent retracement level is down here further for that so just be a little bit mindful um of that and um yeah we should see five waves in this structure here now because this is the 61.8 percent retracement level here <clears throat> let's just assume for a moment <clears throat> that the market does move down to this point if it finds the 12,000 here as a retested resistance then we'll have to call the wave b in here but i can't see how we can do that and i don't particularly want to trade through all of this here because i don't update it every hour so um so i don't want to cause any problems for anybody but um, let's just assume for a moment that this plays out here as an a and a b and a c here then the five wave move up here which will probably be um if it is the case if we take this length here and then we take um from here we take 61.8 percent here and i'll just remove that so if the market doesn't move all the way down here and just comes into the 6-1 area here, then that's where we can look for it. Well, if I put that there and there, that's about that's that's about right there. So I'll just remove that there and um, remove this one. So this is what we could be looking at here. So down into this space, and I'll just put that on more of an angle over here. So it could be quite tight like that. This is just 61.8% of this structure here um, as a wave B here for this, because I don't want to see it going too high at that stage there. But <clears throat> so this is... Um yeah that's sort of how i see it at the moment um so i'm not going to call out any trades because it's um it could be a little bit choppy so to me just recapping this a little bit to me it just really seems that we do have a five wave move down here so that means that after a correction we should get another five waves down so as i mentioned before i was uh well <clears throat> we can all buy hope but um I was, you know, thinking that we'd get like an A and a B and a C wave, something with a little bit more definition in it, but it's it's just not that, you know. Uh, I can count five waves in here, and I've been through all of this, so I'm left with five waves here. So I just have to take the next logical step, and it'll have to be an A and a B and a C here. But I could have that wrong as well, so um, we need to be a little bit mindful um, of that as well. So that's why I'm not going to call out any trades at this point i mean if we had a nice three waves up here then we would work with that um so we'll just see this is the same problem we've got with the s p 500 as well here <clears throat> i mean i just don't think we can call this an a wave here and a b wave here and a c wave here just don't think we can do that just this just doesn't feel doesn't feel right to do that um but yet at the same time here this is all a bullish uh pattern here um so we you know we can move up from here that's what sort of concerns me a little bit how far are we away from that top fair way look i'll just have to leave it at that i think um 
I mean, you could tra if the top of this B wave comes off, <clears throat> then you could trade that to the long side because it would be one and two and three and four and five. I mean, maybe this is the ABC pattern in here. I mean, it, in, it, in through here, you know, and that's in here. And then we're looking for a little five wave pattern up here. But then that would make that a little bit short if it was just going to here compared to this here. So that doesn't sort of doesn't have the right uh, look and feel about it. <clears throat> so, yeah, I can't really help at this stage on that. And the footsie is just going to be the same as well. So um, with the footsie here, the same thing applies here as well with wave one and two here. Um, also, too, if you've been long here, then you need to get out here as well because we're at that. Let's just go back a little bit uh, here for a bit. I did, uh, I did spend a lot of time on this today, actually, just to um, go back over all of this because this is all really sort of quite messy uh, here. Um, but I still ended up with the same with the same count as the other ones at the end of the day. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, down here we've got five waves. So if you're long here, then you need to exit here. So I'm going to move that out of the way here now. Um, we could have gotten a better position, but I wasn't here to uh, do that. So you can see the definition of this five wave structure here now. It's quite nice here. The fifth wave is a bit dodgy. Um, and that's what I thought we could have an A wave to here and then an A and a B and a C wave up to this point and then just drop from here. That's possible, um, but it's just something that would have to work through in the in the days ahead. And I don't think that's the case because if if this is wave one top up here and we're looking for an A and a B and a C coming back for wave two here, then this this for wave two to be here, this should be five waves, three waves, and five waves. So um, I think I just got to stay with that. So even though I don't know what's going on at the moment and I can't call a trade, um, I just have to wait um, and wait for the information. Um, so on the 15 minute chart uh, here for this, it's just sort of drawn out a bit more, the same as the DAX really. So, I mean, we, first of all, we need to see this drop from from here as well, um, which it may not do. Uh, that's the other point with this, you know, we may just get up for one and back for two here and three, four and five moving up here. I just don't, I just don't know. Um, but, um, you know, if this is five waves here, then after a correction, we should get another five here. But this could also be an A and a B and a C, but it doesn't really give a good C wave here. So I've just got to stay with this at the time being. So I'll stay with I don't know anything and I've wasted your time. And we'll just see um, what plays out here and also with the S&P 500 as well. We need to get an idea there. Well, probably more with the NASDAQ more than anything else. So the NASDAQ's banging its head against the 10,000. So um, hopefully it will it will um, fade from that particular point. We'll, we'll see. But if the NASDAQ finds support on the 10,000, let's just bring it across because I was talking about it before. I haven't labelled it on this particular structure here, but um, we had the same thing here with a five-wave structure to the upside. So we're looking for... Um, a move down and ABC back up and it's hitting here. So we really need to see it pull down from this point here. But I know when a market comes up to a level like this the second time round, it's bullish, you know. Um, but we don't have support on that level just yet for that. So I wouldn't go long here anyway. And I wouldn't chase the market above that level there. I wouldn't do that because I know it's going to fold back on me. So I just need to be patient and I need to wait for a setup here. I need the first high above, classic trading levels pattern, the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, and the ABC pattern here, and then we can start taking these highs out through here. And then that's the safest trade um, that I can put forward without um, with, with folks that don't know Elliot in that way. Um, 
Okay, so I'm just going to uh, leave it at that. I don't think I need to recap it because um, we haven't got any trade setups here. We're just going to see what uh, unfolds um, over the next session or two. Uh, we know that the swing trades come in, not the swing trades, but the market gets choppy um, from starts a bit on Tuesday, more on Wednesday and bearish on the Thursday. So um, this is what we're actually seeing now. And uh, let's play that out. So any long trades we might be able to pick up for Friday, if that's going to be the case. Um, we'll need to see this play out here. And also with this too, we'll need to understand where the, I mean, the market rallied to the 61.8% mark. So we know that it's working, you know, in that, in that ratio. So we need to be a little bit mindful um, of that for these markets as well. So uh, this, this, so down at the 6,100, if you manage to get short, if it breaks lower, if the two here becomes the retested resistance, then you can look to the short trade here. So they will come down, there'll be a bounce off of the course, and then there'll be a move through. Don't chase that. Set back once that's in play there. If it breaks that, then you're short and you can get down to this level and get out at that point because there will be a bounce off that level there. Alrighty. Um, yeah, sorry I couldn't be more help, but um, also thanks for the support and tuning in, etc., etc. Cheers.